everyone, my name is Derek and welcome to the Netflix Know How, the review show here to help you stop browsing and start watching. Today we have My Life as a Zucchini, a happy little animated French movie about... Oh. Well, this isn't a happy movie at all. Despite its colorful visuals and happy claymation style, My Life as a Zucchini is pretty... depressing. The story follows a young boy named Zucchini who is relocated to an orphanage after he accidentally kills his mother. Oh, I'm sad now. There he meets a bunch of other orphans who each have their own tragic reason for being there. Some of them are the children of drug addicts, some had their parents go insane, and some just simply weren't wanted for one reason or another. One of the little girls actually had her family deported, and so every time a car comes up the driveway she comes running outside to see if it's them, and it's just so... Oh, I'm even more sad now. It's definitely the kind of movie that knows how to tug at your heartstrings, but in a very honest and genuine kind of way. Don't get me wrong, it is a very sad movie, but the focus isn't really so much about their tragic pasts and how they ended up in this orphanage. My Life as a Zucchini kind of reminds me of My Neighbor Totoro in the sense that they're both films about exploring these struggles and the experiences of youth without necessarily having a strong main central conflict. But where Totoro looked at these themes through the lens of youthful whimsy and magic, Zucchini takes a much more grounded and bittersweet approach to the topic. It doesn't shy away from the darker side of childhood, and at times can even be uncomfortably real. It's sad that Zucchini accidentally killed his mother, yes, but on the flip side of that, his mom was also a raging alcoholic with a pension for physical and emotional abuse, so it's kind of difficult to say whether he's better off or worse off now than he was before. The part that really hit me the hardest about him was his unwillingness to use his real name. His real name is actually Iker, and Zucchini is just a nickname of sorts given to him by his mother, and so that's just what he's used to being called and what he's comfortable with. It's just really, really sad because that name is like the one last tangible connection that he has to his mother, and even though she was an awful person and mistreated him and abused him, he still loved her, and he still has a very strong bond and connection to her. It's little details like that that add so much nuance and complexity and emotion to each of these characters. One of the other main orphans is named Simon, and he's presented as essentially the bully of the group, and he's constantly bossing people around and telling them what to do and making fun of them all the time. But then you actually get to know him, and you learn about his past and what happens to him with his family, and you see the friendship and the bonds that he developed with Zucchini, and it's just so sad. Each of these characters have gone through some pretty rough times in their life, and they're doing the very best that they can to cope with it. I mean, they're just children after all. Simon's particular way of dealing things is just to act like a big tough guy, but that doesn't mean he's a bad person and that he doesn't care about his friends and the people that he loves. That's what's really great about these characters and the bond that they share. It's that life has thrown so much crap at them and they've just taken it and they've still found a reason to get up and smile and enjoy life as best they can and that reason is each other. It's a movie about the bond of friendship and family and about finding joy in the little moments in life that bring you happiness. It's also about the fragility of childhood and how easily that can be taken away from someone. Most of these children come from circumstances of abuse or neglect, whether it be in their personal lives or as the result of a broken system. There's a subplot about one of the girl's aunts wanting to take her away from the orphanage because if she does that, if she takes care of her niece, the government will give her support money. It's not because she cares about her niece, it has nothing to do with her wanting to provide her with a good home, it's because she gets money. She views her niece as nothing more than an object to leverage money off of the government. That's so ethically disgusting to take advantage of somebody that doesn't have the power or the means to defend themselves so that you can 
benefit from it for your own selfish gain. And yet this is something that happens in the real world all the time. The movie doesn't go so far as to push this big social agenda on the audience, but at the same time it doesn't really need to because it just presents these disgusting behaviors in such an honest and truthful way that by itself it already speaks plenty. My life as a zucchini might be a little too depressing for some people to handle, but I don't think it ever comes off as feeling bleak. At its core, Zucchini is actually a very hopeful and inspiring movie that just happens to be about some kids who are going through some really rough times right now. It even has a happy ending, which I think is appropriate considering how quickly it went from zero to cutting itself in the corner at the very beginning. It is a sad movie, yes, and there's a very good possibility that it's going to make you cry at some point along the way, but it's the kind of sad that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside once it's all said and done. My Life as a Zucchini gets a healthy thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also head over to Facebook and over to Twitter, follow me on there. And uh, if you do enjoy this a lot, be sure to share it with your friends because that would be great for me and I would super, super appreciate that. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for you today. So as always, if you wanna know your flicks, you know where to click. Happy hunting, guys. I'll see you next time.